This is Liz Walhoff from the Cantrell Building in Douglas County School District. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use corkboard.me and I'm also going to compare and contrast it with another tool with which you might be familiar and that is Wallwisher. Now we've been using Wallwisher in Douglas County for quite a while. It's a great little free web 2.0 tool that just lets you and anyone else uh, in your class or in a staff development course post a sticky note on an online wall to share their thoughts. However, lately I've been finding that Wallwisher has become a little bit unreliable. It either has loaded so slowly as to make it not really functional or hasn't loaded at all. So I want to show you an alternative today, and that alternative is corkboard.me. Very much like Wallwisher does something pretty similar. Again, it just lets you put a sticky note up there. You notice that I went when I went here, it gave me a unique URL. I could paste, copy and paste this URL into my website. I could put it with a class. I could post, it, uh, send it home with students in their backpacks. Whatever it is that I wanted to do, and this would just give me a unique place where anyone could share their thoughts. A couple of things that Wallwisher does that this does not. Wallwisher does um, prompt students when they post, when they double click on a wall to put their name in. It also lets them insert images or put links, which Corkboard does not let you do. However, Corkboard works and works more reliably. As you can see, I could put a sample assignment on my sticky note and move it to the upper left. Anybody else who clicks on my Corkboard can add their own sticky notes. Now I have tried this out and I have discovered that yes you can delete someone else's sticky notes so you would definitely want to have a conversation with your students about appropriateness and um, how we treat each other's work online. You can make the sticky notes bigger or smaller depending on what it is that you need to say. Corkboard is not very difficult. It's just one little app, web 2.0 app that has one little purpose, just letting people put up sticky notes in a digital wall. And this is Liz Walhoff from the Cantrell Building in Douglas County School District, and this has been another DCSD On Demand video tutorial.